What is going on everybody and welcome to part 3 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. Today we are going to be starting work on our own custom HUD. And because there's lots of things to do with the HUD, we're going to be taking it in chunks. So today we're just going to be working on getting rid of the default HUD and then displaying health on our own custom HUD. But before we get to work on that, I want to make a note that I changed the name of the Game Mode folder. So now it is Test. It's no longer game mode because I saw that it caused some issues while I was recording this a little bit earlier. So create a new folder and move all of the stuff in the game mode folder to this new folder. That's now the name of your game mode. So once that's done, we can go into our folder that contains all of our Lua scripts and create a new one. And we will call this just testhud.lua. But before we get coding our own custom HUD, we want to make sure that this file is added in our CL init and init files. So let's add a client side or add CS Lua file and the test HUD.lua. And then in CL init, we want to include that test HUD.lua. And once that's all done, we can get on to our own custom HUD. We'll need two functions for this, a function HUD. You can call that function whatever you want. And then you can also call this function whatever you want. I'm just going to call it hide HUD. And it's going to take in one argument, which is just going to be the name. So end. And each one of these functions needs to be hooked to something. So let's do a hook dot add. This will be HUD should draw. And then a description for it. This is going to hide the default HUD, basically what it's going to do. And the function that we want this to be want to call would be hide HUD, which is just the name of this function we created up here. And then this function HUD is going to take in a hook dot add, and this is going to be HUD paint. This will allow our own custom HUD to be painted out of the screen. And then another description for it, we're just going to call it test HUD. And it's going to call the HUD function, which again is just the name of this function that we created up here. So first thing we want to do is we want to hide the default HUD. And we do this by creating a for loop and just looping through every single element of the default HUD and pretty much setting it to false. Because what this hook does is it's going to check if that part of the HUD should draw. And if it's set to false, it's pretty much telling it that no, do not draw this part of the HUD. So that's what this is going to do. So we need a for loop with k v in pairs do and then end. What this k is is just the key and the v is just the value. That v variable will be set to a an element that's within this table. So to make a table we just have curly brackets and within these curly brackets we add each element of the HUD. So there's four different elements. There is the c HUD health which is just the health C HUD battery, which is the armor. C HUD ammo, which is the ammo for the current weapon they have. And then C HUD secondary ammo, which is just the secondary ammo for the weapon they have, if any. So what we want to do is we want to check if the name, which is just the argument we passed in, if the name of this certain part of the HUD is equal to V, which is just one of these values in here. It'll start at CHUD health and then go on until it gets to CHUD secondary ammo and then end. So if that name is equal to V, then let's end it. We want it to return false. So it's going to tell it to not draw this part of the HUD at all. And in this case, it's not going to draw any of the parts of the HUD. So now if I were to go into here, let's reload the game. And if all went well, you can see that there is no longer a HUD on our screen. Usually there would be health in the bottom left, but that is no longer there, so we know that it works. Next, we can start making our own custom one. And to do this, we want to be able to get the client's health. So we can do this by creating a variable called local client and setting this equal to local player. And what we want to do is, if the player is dead, we no longer want to draw the HUD. So we can do this by checking if the client is dead. So if 
an exclamation point basically saying that it's not. So if not client alive, then we just want to return and then end. After that, we can start drawing our HUD. We're just going to set up a simple box here that'll hold all of the elements that we need, or at least hold the health and armor. So we can do this by doing a draw dot rounded box like so. And this is going to take in six arguments. The first argument is the radius of the corners. So if you want any curvature to your corners, you set this to a value greater than zero. In this case, I just want it to be a normal square or rectangle, so we're just going to set it to zero. After that, we have the x value. I'm going to set this to zero so it's right on the edge of the screen. And then the uh, y value, which I'm going to set to screen height, like so, minus whatever the height is. This is just a placeholder for now. I'll change that once I set the height of this box. Next up is the width of the box. I'm going to set it to 250. And the height of the box, we're going to set to 100. So now that we got this height set, we can change this to minus 100. And what this is going to do for us is it's going to allow our to allow this box to be shown on the screen. So it's visible on the screen. If I were to just get rid of this and have just screen height, it would be off the screen. It would be below the screen. And that is not what we want. So subtract that height, and then we'll be able to see the whole thing. The last thing we need is color. And this is just the color of the box. I'm going to set it to a... Uh, a light or a dark darkish gray how about that so let's do 50 50 50 because this is more of a lighter gray but that's fine and then the transparency let's go with 225 no 230 and now what will happen is if we reload this oh no actually it's right there you can see that we got the box in the bottom left with some transparency going on so now if we want to draw on the health, or draw some text that's going to display the health, we can do something like this. Just draw simple text. And the first argument is just some text. So we're going to have health, colon, and we're going to concatenate onto that, or add onto that, the client, the client's health, or the player's health. Oh, there we go. And after that, we want the we want derma default bold, like so. And then we want the x and y locations of it. So let's do x. We will do 90. The y location will have screen. Oh, sorry, not the x. We want this to be 10. Yeah and then screen height minus 100. Let's see what that looks like. Sorry, not 190. There we go. We don't want it to be right on the top of it. And then this is the color of the text. We're going to do a white. So 255, 255, 255, 255. And then 0, 0. These last two numbers are just for the alignment of it. I honestly have no idea what they do, so I'm not going to talk about them. We won't be using them, though, so for this series, it's not too big of a deal. So now if we were to run this, as you can see, we got our health there. And if I were to go and take some damage here, I can just get up on a high building. You can see that our health went down. So that is how you do the health portion of this. We'll be making this better looking. We'll add some cool little graphics to it later on. But for now, that is how you add health to our custom HUD. Next time we will be going over armor. So hopefully you learned something today, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.